any of that. She don't remember a lot of things. As well as she remember a lot of things. So, periodically, she will remember stuff. She knows me. She knows everybody. She knows a lot. I wasn't going to share these things. Because you know how people are. Based on how I'm feeling right now, I want everyone to know that she's she's there. She's she's there. She's a person. That she's there. She's there. And she don't deserve any of this. She don't deserve any of this. None of it. Every time I look at Kayla, and I'm like in disbelief that this is actually happening. This is actually happening to my child, my KK. You know? We have to just keep trusting God, really. Because that's it. You know? Even the doctors say it, 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 it's only going to take a miracle. And it's always going to be a 50-50 chance. But I believe God can turn that 50 into 100 and 1,000. So... My heart is breaking over and over again. Over and over, constantly breaking. Over and over, and each time it gets worse. It's not a, it's not a thing that I can say oh i can't do it today or i can't bother or i'm not going to i don't have a choice so i have to just be strong it's just you know i just have to be it's not a choice i didn't choose you know but i wish things could have gone differently i do Wish I could turn back time. Wish I could turn back time. Wish I could turn back the time right now. Trust me. Wish I could just make it all go away. You know, but... I don't know. No, she's going to be upset that I left. No, she's going to be... You know, but you know, God is able, right, guys? God is able, God is able, God is able. You know, God is able. Oh, I don't know how to explain things. We know it has to do with um, the injury. But how the injury was done, that's a mystery. How the injury was done is a mystery. <sighs> you know? I'm still, in, I'm still at the hospital. I'm in the parking lot. 
But you know, just asking you guys to pray my strength because I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. And please pray for that spinal injury, that mysterious spinal injury. rough guys man telling the truth I don't want this to happen to anybody don't want this to happen to anybody at all nobody no matter who you be could I be my Can do something about this pain. I can do nothing about it. Not Natalia can do about it. Can't do nothing about that type of pain. Yeah. You know. Still, I gotta keep trying, you know. Still, I gotta keep pushing. Still, I gotta keep fighting, not giving up. Comfortable. I'm gonna do it. I don't care who wanna criticize me. Me don't care who wanna like me. Me don't care who wanna send me this, who wanna send me that. Me gonna do what me feel necessary to make her comfortable. I'm gonna do what me feel necessary to make her alright. Or forget whatever she needs. Don't care whatever anyone or anything wants to say. Yeah. Ever stop. Right now she's doing the, the, the impossible already. She's already a miracle. Seven cardiac arrests. Recently, in within less than a day. In a day and a half, two cardiacs back to back, and her conscious level is still there. She still can't talk to me. She still. she will do it right she can't put her foot in the ear she can't kick out her foot but there's some movements and that is also unexplained because that itself is a miracle because with the type of injury that they, that we're seeing she shouldn't be able to do that but she's doing it anyway so God is God. I'm not going to stop saying that. And I'm sharing this with you guys because I want to send up the prayers. Give God his glory. Because, you know, maybe that is why a lot of times our blessings are delayed. Because we keep quiet when we are supposed to give God his glory. Right? God do something for we and we, and we hush hush with it. But when God, when God, we get we beaten, we ball, and we we talk and we criticize and we find fault, and a truth, and is this is true? Because I have done it in the past. God, I bless you, and your blessing is a is a is a mystery. Your blessing is so quiet. But when God I beat you, the whole world knows that God I beat you. Right. 
Everybody, you complain, complain, complain. Gotta beat you, gotta beat you, gotta beat you. And you don't deserve the beating. But when God do something good for you, you don't talk about it. You understand? So right now, who want vex, vex? Who want have something to say? Some, have something to say? Because at the end of the day, I am the person dealing with this reality. Me, every single day, and our family members. You understand? Dealing with this every single day. Have to be coping with this every single day. Right? I know me firsthand every day. Now she's moving, communicating me. I fear I try find answers because I don't want to lie to her. Me I fear I give her reasons why she has to stay there. And why I have to leave her there. Right? God deserves the glory because despite the fact that she's in still in this fragile state, there's still something to give thanks for. There's still something to give God to be glorified for. Right? Still have to give God thanks. Still have to glorify God for what like, we do still have. And trust me, it's still a miracle. Because based on track record, medically, she's not supposed to be doing any of what she's doing now. And she is so. To God be the glory. So, you know. <sighs> guys just keep praying please I'm going to be going back into fasting I'm going to be going back into fasting pray some more because we need this miracle because that's what it's going to take I don't know take so guys more that's what i want every i don't want every, nobody to be to, to be praying oh i pray for kaylan to get well i don't want anybody to be praying for 